just a wrap up of our work session and our city council meeting for the city of Grand Rapids for Monday, December 7th, 2020. At the um, work session, we had the fire chief in along with a couple of uh, Rob Rima and Sean Graber to talk about the replacement of engine 116. That engine is in terrible shape to the point that uh, we don't want to really put it out on the road or anything because of some rusting issues and some structural issues on the frame. So that discussion was had and we are bumping up the process of looking at another truck that takes about 13, 14, 15 months to get that out there. So we got to start the process now and that will be coming back for council final approval. Uh, the first council meeting I would expect in January. Just a few things off from our consent agenda, we entered into a five-year municipal engineering service agreement with Short Elliott Hendrickson. Uh, we ex uh, adopted a resolution accepting the feasibility report for Fifth Street Southwest reconstruction. And there will be a public hearing on that on Monday, January 25th at 5.30 in the council chambers. Um, if things don't change and we are still in, under different types of quarantine, uh, the number will be given prior to the meeting in which you can call in and express your concerns as it relates to that uh, proposal. We have a three-year agreement with ESRI for GIS ELA software going forward. So that's taken care of for about three years. Um, we got some first amendment to a contract with the private developer, the old sawmill in site. Uh, so we're, they're uh, getting, keep in mind, there is work up there. They are moving forward. Uh, we do expect that there'll be some work yet, maybe uh, this fall or over the winter, but they will absolutely be doing groundwork and the building of that hotel hotel come next spring. Two public hearings this evening that we had, one before our regular meeting, and that was to uh, merge our Grand Rapids housing under the Itasca County HRA. Uh, it's been a great run for the Grand Rapids HRA. They provided a lot of services and housing resources to a lot of folks out there for many years. But from an effective use of assets, uh, merging those two organizations under the county, we felt was the right way to go. Uh, Diane Larson does a wonderful job in that. And uh, we expect fully to have her continue down that path of making sure that all of our city and county assets are utilized for people out there who are in need of housing. And then our last uh, public hearing was our truth in taxation. I think if you listen to our city administrator, Tom Pagel, you found that we've done our best that we can to hold our taxes down. And uh, if you do have some issues out there, the remedies coming up, uh, he explained coming up in next March or April when you get your final tax one. If your taxes did go up over 10%, there is some remedy and recourse that you can take with going out there and filing through the state to get a rebate on that increase on your property taxes. And you can meet, there's also a process that you can go in and you can question your valuation of your property. So we are not, uh, on our regular schedule, this is the first Monday of the month, and because it is the holiday season, we met on tonight the 7th, and we will meet again on the 21st. So uh, take care out there. Uh, I know we're all anxiously waiting to hear what the governor has to say in a few days here on, on uh, COVID and the COVID issues. Uh, please be careful. Think of your neighbors, think of your friends, think of your kids. I know everybody wants to get out and there's nothing wrong with getting out and doing some activities, whether it's um, it's exercising or whatever you, ch you choose to do, it's shopping. I would encourage you to still wear a mask and do some social distancing, but uh, certainly don't neglect some of your personal health and stuff as well. We will get through it. Uh, I'm hoping for good information. Uh, I keep watching the TV almost uh, daily, hearing what's happening from a vaccine standpoint, and uh, it's not going to be that long. And there's going to be vaccine available for you and I and, and all of our friends and neighbors uh, if we choose to take it. So with that, we will talk to you again on the 21st. Take care and have a nice evening.